Breaking a window and tossing two Molotov cocktails at Congressman Emanuel Cleaver's Kansas City office on 31st Street. That's what a Kansas City man is accused of doing on September 11th. Now he faces charges from the United States Attorney. Eric King, a 28-year-old from Kansas City, stood in a federal court Wednesday charged with throwing Molotov cocktails into Congressman Emanuel Cleaver's Kansas City office. According to a court document, it was just before 3 in the morning on September 11th when King was reportedly caught on video breaking a window with a hammer and throwing two devices toward the building. One was apparently visibly lit. Investigators reportedly turned to social media for further resources, and they say they came across King's Facebook page. We found a page matching the description investigators have. On the page, we found that says it belongs to an Eric King. There are multiple anti-government and law enforcement posts. One on September 3rd at 4:23 in the morning that says, in part, "quote KC Fight Back celebrated its first Labor Day with a lovely variety of action, action, and more action against a series of government and financial properties." End quote. Another on September 10th, the day before Congressman Cleaver's office was vandalized, said, in part, "quote." Casey Fightback has been serious in its insurrection activity, and that is the thing that is giving me most pride in my life. There is no bigger rush than staying 100 true to yourself and your own beliefs, end quote. King was arrested on September 16th. A court document reportedly says King was arrested with a backpack containing red spray paint, lighter fluid, a plastic bottle with fluid inside, and a sock placed over the top. The U.S. attorney says King claims to be a part of a group called the KC Fightback Insurrectionist Collective. Over Labor Day weekend, there was more vandalism in the same general area, this time at the World War I Memorial and Museum. A court document also reportedly states there was anarchy graffiti on police vehicles and a federal protective police vehicle. Detectives familiar with King reportedly identified someone seen on surveillance video as King. He has not been charged in 